Hey, just real quick before we start the video, uh, I am putting a sale on the Halloween sketchbooks that I have. This is a series of monster art and Halloween style art that I did. It's uh, 24 pages of pure art that I've posted nowhere. Um, it's really fun and right now it is on sale uh, on this channel only, okay? So the discount code when you type in is Halloween and that's going to give you 25% off. Uh, I only have about, I think I have about a few of these left, so uh, once these are gone, that's kind of it. So thank you so much. I appreciate all the support from everybody. Check it out. Hey, how's it going? Uh, today we're going to go through how to draw Halloween Witch. It's going to be very simple and easy, and it's going to be fun. Uh, so if you love Halloween, stick around. Uh, this lesson is only seven minutes, so... Stick around the entire seven minutes because uh, if you stick around the entire seven minutes, then you will have a brand new skill at the end of it. So just stick with it, okay? Um, let's get started, okay? Before I do that, don't forget, hit the subscribe if you love Halloween. And, you know, hit the bell notification. The cool part about this is it also notifies you for next year. Like when I start posting a lot of videos again, like next uh, next year, it's going to start rolling around and you're going to start seeing these announcements. So, all right, so let's get started, okay? What I'm going to do here is I'm going to throw a line here for the witch's hat first. This would be like a straight line. like Kind of like a, not straight line, sorry, it's like a little bit of an S-curve, but you can draw a straight line too. Huh. Huh. Excuse me. Gonna draw a line here. For that's gonna be the witch's brow, like her eye. Down. Gonna throw a line over here, angled. And that's gonna be the eye itself. And I'm gonna pull a straight line down, like there. It's gonna be the front of the eye. And I'm gonna close it off right there. It's gonna be like a triangle, right? That's the eye in side view. I'm gonna go over here thinner line for the um, what do you call it, the bag of the eye going over here maybe about the about the center of the brow here and I'm gonna pull out down for the nose out again down for this kind of hook nose we're gonna give her pulling up back So that's the bottom, the nostril right there. I'm gonna pull a line kind of around this area for the top lip. Curve over here, like a C shape over here for the nostril. Back here, I'm gonna pull like, it's gonna go back into a smile. Line over here for the end of her smile. Out down out over here downward for the chin pulling back up we're gonna throw like a tooth in her mouth since she's doing an underbite we're gonna have like a block going up I'm gonna thicken the line at the front of her eye here just to make it look like you know she's got like a pupil in there pupil and iris line in here for the neck I'm gonna pull an extra line over here to make her hat a little well I guess this is gonna be her hair I guess but uh, so we're gonna pull the hat over here a little bit longer pulling in over here on this side we're gonna actually wrap it around so see this on the end over here I'm gonna pull it down over here at the top back so that's the top of the brim of the hat pulling in over here curve along here we're gonna throw the front of the hat over here so it's gonna be like a belt at the front there back down that's a belt around her hat going over here at the tip going up down in up up like that line over here Okay, gonna pull a shoulder over here. So curve line here for the shoulder, pulling down for her arm in, 
And we're not gonna draw her hand quite yet, but we're gonna throw a line here for her outfit, like the like the long sleeve. It's gonna be flapping in the wind there, pulling up. Just gonna pull a straight line up. Line over here, because it's kind of like a folding cloth. Curve for the back. Line down. Wiggliness for the rest of her outfit, okay? It's just wiggliness, almost like a ghost tail right there. Down. In. And we're gonna draw the three fingers of her hand. It's kind of wrapped around. So they're just gonna look like three little sausages right there. All right. Let's draw the back of her hair. Wee like that wiggliness. It's gonna look more like noodles. Let's make that one bigger. Down here. And let's draw the uh, broom, okay? It's gonna, like, from her hand right here, go up, curve around here, and we're gonna pull back. Imagine that going through in your mind's eye. You gotta have to imagine it. Hmm, it's gonna be a little hard. Oh, man. Well, right over here, and the top goes out here a little bit. And then the right below that's gonna be something else. Curve line here, curve in, curve in. Down, line out, it's kind of flat end over here, we're going to draw the end of the broom here. Let's draw a bunch of lines along in there, Whew. and that's pretty much it. We can fill these in though, like right here under her neck, I'm going to fill it in black because she's going to get a lot of... Uh, shadow and underneath her hat over here I'm gonna fill this in black thank you so much if you got any value from this video um, let me know I would love to hear it uh, I think it's a uh, fun to do uh, and stick around right now I'm gonna show you a sped up version of the color you know uh, I'm not gonna really color on camera cause it's gonna be kind of boring honestly but I'm just gonna blast through the color um, Thank you so much. I will see you next time and stick around for the color, okay? Hit that share.